Yellowstone debuted in June of 2018, introducing the world to Kelly Riley as Beth Dutton, daughter to rancher John Dutton, played by Kevin Costner. And it didn't take long for Riley to make a strong impression as a tough-as-nails, complex character unafraid of being disliked. Look at you with your cat teeth and your spray tan. Get out of my office. In fact, it was those very traits which drew Riley to the character in the first place. She told Cinema Blend, I love her mind. I love her intelligence. I love her fierceness. She's a warrior. And then, of course, you want to slowly then start to unpack and see who this is underneath. And that, for me, as an actor, that's the stuff that I love. And when you've got great writing, you get to really trust going there with some of the more difficult stuff. And while her character is quite intimidating, Riley herself is described as just the opposite by her fellow cast members. Wes Bentley, who plays Jamie Dutton, told the site, She is one of the sweetest people and sweetest actors. She has to go so far to get to Beth. She does an amazing job. It's great to watch her. She's very intimidating as Beth, though. I get worked up for these scenes, and then she delivers. Fans agree that it is great fun to watch Kelly Riley as Beth. One tweet from a viewer read, I recently watched all of Yellowstone, and I just need to yell about how Kelly Riley is giving one of the best performances on TV as Beth Dutton right now, and we should all be talking about it more. Another representative fan post read, Beth Dutton could ruin my life at any given moment, and I would tell her thank you. Strong fan enthusiasm isn't too surprising, considering the fact that the two-hour series premiere of Yellowstone made it the most-watched original scripted series on Paramount Network of all time. And its fourth season premiere became the most-watched episode on cable since 2018, eclipsing an episode of AMC's The Walking Dead. Riley may be known by many for her work in Yellowstone, but she is an award-winning actor who's appeared on the London stage, TV, and film, which includes roles in some recent and popular movies. In 2005, she was Caroline in Joe Wright's adaptation of the Jane Austen classic Pride and Prejudice. And between 2009 and 2012, she played rookie detective Anna Travis in the ITV British crime drama Above Suspicion. Films that feature Riley include Richard Linklater's Me and Orson Welles from 2008, in which she portrayed actress Muriel Brassler, Triage from 2009, in which she portrayed Diane, Flight from 2012, in which she portrayed Nicole, a recovering heroin addict, a single shot from 2013 in which she portrayed Jess, and Heaven is for Real from 2014 in which she portrayed Sonia Burpo, mother to Colton Burpo, the real-life kid who claimed he met Jesus in heaven riding a rainbow-colored horse. In 2015, she was also Jordan, the wife of Vince Vaughn's character on season two of the HBO television series True Detective. When Yellowstone first started, many probably recognized Riley from Sherlock Holmes as she portrayed Mary in the 2009 film a role she reprised in 2011 in Sherlock Holmes' A Game of Shadows. Mary is a governess whom Watson marries. For years, fans have been wondering if and when a third installment could be expected, as the first draft was said to have been in progress back in October 2011, as reported by Deadline. In October 2020, however, the director said the project was on the back burner, according to Digital Spy. An early report said the movie's release date would be December 22, 2021, which has clearly not panned out. Additionally, Robert Downey Jr. said he wanted to create an entire Sherlock universe back in 2020, as as stated in Fast Company, with spin-off films, a television series, and other media. With that plan and with the success of the current season of Yellowstone, fans can expect to see much more of Kelly Riley. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite actors are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.